Welcome back to the two-time award-winning Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on VegasAllNetRadio.com. Also with us tonight on VegasAllNetRadio.com is the Geek Lounge. The zero award-winning podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. No, no, no. We won that award from the uh, Awesomeness Council. That's right, the Awesomeness Council. What is the Awesomeness Council? We're the Awesomeness Council. Awesomeness Council. Awesomeness Council. Awesomeness Council. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Rated number one by the Awesomeness hey, Council. Well, the Awesomeness Council could give us an award, and then we could buy three-time three award winners. Oh yeah! We'll have to do that. yeah. You know, I think we're gonna have to shoot you guys a promo now. There you yeah. go. That's what we're gonna Sounds have to do. Good. Sounds, Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> so you guys are on every Sunday, yep. Yep. right before us at four o'clock. Well, not mm-hmm. right before us, but at four o'clock from four to five, and you guys talk about all things nerd. Yep, that's right. That's that's pretty much what we're good at. So we figure, why not make a show out of it? Well, I know, I know that you had a pretty rambunctious uh, Superman review, Superman movie review. Yes. You right. guys do movie <laughs> reviews after the nerd movies come out, which yeah. is I love those Did shows. You guys like that movie because I saw it. No, no, no. no. Well, you kind of liked Superman? it. Mm, no, I, I really no. didn't. I, I, Superman no, was I, really. There awesome. was there was some stuff that I liked about it, but it you know all, overall as a movie, he was I did a not, good no. good looking Superman. He did the part well. Like there's nothing wrong on his part, so I don't want anyone to think that it's the storyline that you guys. It's everything mind. else. Oh, it's it's you. the plot. It's the it's it's everything else. I love else. superhero movies. If that you want a really good review of the nerd movies that come out, these two, these two guys, whenever they do a nerd movie review, it's always always awesome. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, those are yeah. my favorite ones to listen to. And then I know that you guys mentioned nerd magic. What exactly is nerd magic? Oh, that's that's this guy right that's, here. I have no idea. That's, what nerd that's magic. everything I bring to the show every, every <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Nerd, nerd magic. magic. Yep. What kind of things are in the nerd magic category? Uh, well, no longer the the long hair like it was. That oh. was a letdown. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> just uh, You're just like Samson. You've lost all your power. I know, I know. That's <laughs> what everyone. I have, I have heard that like several that. times now. <laughs> yes. Um, no, nerd magic is just us having a great time. It's just us being us. So if yep. you like, if you like what we do and what we say, then. You're you're in with the nerd magic. Nerd magic yeah, is when you walk into a room and every person in there knows something dirty, deep, and dark and secret about everyone else, and that's because they all play paper and dice together. <laughs> <laughs> that's yes. true. Yeah, I mean, when we started the show, we were we were fairly nervous, and you know, we weren't we were having fun, but not as much fun as we could. And I guess that's where that comes from. Is now we're a little. You know, we're a little more loose, a little more and loose. we. You know what? I noticed that for the first time. You got even in this studio. You guys yeah. are much more relaxed mm-hmm. behind the mic. Oh yeah, the first oh. our very first episode was rough. A little nerve. <laughs> yeah, it's very rough. It was very nerve wracking. It right always now. is. It always. Yeah. Is. Oh, you were there. You were there. Yeah. It yeah. only takes. It only takes a couple of shows to get it under because your belt. Eventually, you forget the microphones there. You do. You yeah. just talk. Well, hopefully you do. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do because you're always telling me to put my face in the mic. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Suck on it. We now, are used to that. You guys have had some great guests on your show as well. So tell us a little bit about some of the guests that you've had. One of the biggest ones we've had was what Sean Kenny is like the most Sean Kenny, famous that yes. we've had on the show. Yeah, uh, and, was, and, and was for amazing. those who are not nerds, explain uh, who Sean Kenny. Sean was. Kenny was Captain Pike in the original Star Trek. He was hey, in the job. what really? episode was it? Where he was in the wheelchair? The menagerie. The menagerie. Yeah, mm-hmm. where he was in the wheelchair. You know. Twice for yes, once for no. When he <laughs> yeah. flashed the light, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's very yeah. cool. That was him, and One he was in. He was characters. in other two other episodes as a crewman on the ship. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we had him. We had him uh, call on the phone, and yeah, it was it was great. I mean, yeah, he had just recently put out a book, which is called uh, Captain Pike Found Alive, which you can find on Amazon.com. It's a really great book. It's 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 not like William Shatner or some of the other guys who write these like 300 page book and put it as much stuff as they can. It's it's fairly straightforward. And it's amazing the life he had. He he lived so much before he even got to Star Trek because that's where he's really known from, and his photography, which is also amazing. Um, but well, he, he photographs so much. stars. Yeah, he photographs. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. The uh, girl from the the Breakfast Club, the mm-hmm. redhead, I Molly Ringwald. Ringwald. Molly Ringwald. Yeah. He took pictures of her before she got famous. Her the pictures she used to then you know launch her career right, right, right. were his pictures. Uh, he's actually it? launched a couple people's careers basically on his pictures. Right, right. Wow, that's so, awesome. Yeah, he's he's he was an amazing guy. He was an amazing guest. And um, then I know that you guys have go ahead. I was just gonna ask how you who made the contact? Oh, uh, that happen? would be that would be this one right that, here. Right? That's, oh, your oh, nerd that's nerd magic. magic. Yeah. That's that's the nerd magic. That's well, actually, that was magic. that was my dad actually. Oh, oh yeah, that, yeah. We which were, you've had on the show. Yes, yes. you yes. have had your dad on the show. All the ones we gotta we gotta get him back eventually. <laughs> but yeah, we were at the Star Trek convention here, and he happened to go by his table, and they started chit chatting this and the other. They traded numbers, not really think anything of it. He dropped off at a show. 
You know, that, that is so true. Parents sell you better than you. Yes. That's true. My yep. mom has handed out way more business cards than I have. But wait, my, my mom is always like that too. My daughter talks about sex. Here, go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you should take your dad whenever you go on a field trip, a nerd oh, field yeah, trip. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I, 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 I you know my I son, because they feel sorry for him. My son does a podcast about yeah. stuff like that you do, and the, the guy behind the mm-hmm. table will go, Oh, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do your son. Oh, show. everyone's son dies. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was it was really odd because he, he got a phone call from him. Like, because, like I said, we figured, oh, he's just being nice. You know, no big deal. And, like, a couple days later, he's like, hey, so you said your son had a, a, you know, a radio show. I'm putting out a book, and could I come on the show? And my dad was like, here's his number. Call him. <laughs> it's like, All right. Awesome. Call Did him you shake your pants and... when he called you? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luis, Luis was just getting into Star Trek then, so he wasn't as excited. But after he started reading the book and he saw the episodes, yeah. like he understood better. I had started watching but... the original stuff, and then I, I hadn't gotten to his part as Captain Prime. Right, right. But then he was like, oh, he's going to be on. You should watch it. So I started watching. He's like, oh, okay. Well, now that's kind of cool. And I got to rub- <laughs> Now I'm excited. My, my, my favorite thing, don't get me wrong, having Sean Kenny on was awesome. But the best part about it was rubbing in my brother's face. He's ah! already got me into Star Trek <laughs> in the first place. So it was just nice to be like, Oh, yeah? You met Sean Kenny? So did I. You know what? He's on my radio show. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, now, punk? Now what? Now <laughs> what? I got the radio, and there's stars come on it. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And then the other thing that you you guys are real, you're, you're like in like Flynn. <laughs> I don't know if Flynn's a reference today. You're in like Flynn with uh, the local c- uh, comic book artist collective group. The Oops, a- stores. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All those guys. The, the biggest one being the ACC, which is uh, Adam... Uh, who comes on the show? Yeah, Adam's been on the show a few times. Oh, Adam's so. been on this show. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With yeah. Free. With Free. Free. Free I well. like Free. I know free you Free keeps saying, come on, can, when do I get to come in and talk about sex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're great guys. We are we're, uh, we usually go to their thing on Fridays, um, as much as we can anyways. We've missed the last couple. Um, and then we've had some other guys on through them. So we try and support, you know, it's like we were kind of talking about earlier. We really want to embrace the, the geek, the nerd. And, you know, you can't do that just by yourself. You can only do so much. So having those guys on and talking and showing how cool it is to have your own product, you know? Right. So I have a soon-to-be eight-year-old who is a huge nerd. Thank you very much. Oh, he, he is. <laughs> Good job. He, nice. Thank you. Um, and he's a more of a Star Wars kind of kid. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a Trek. He gets Star Wars from his dad. I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I really want to have him embrace the whole comic book thing and i don't know where to start him with that well a lot of places now since they're marketing a lot of comics to kids they'll have a section specifically for kids comics like the archies oh. and the and the, and the they have, like, it's not easily section. oh yeah, yeah they've okay, got because he's really into the they superhero got superheroes and, and all kinds of yeah. things so yeah i mean sometimes matter- the boy starts talking and I just like, oh, yeah, that's really cool. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Especially get him started on Star Wars or Iron Man. Oh, yeah. Those so are the big ones. Do, do, do the major companies like Marvel or DC, do they write uh, Iron Man stories just for kids? Yes. Yes, they do. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, they awesome. Do yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Okay. They, they even have cartoons that are, that are geared strictly for, they have like the Justice League, only like mini are they yeah, like yeah, little yeah. mini people? Yeah, yeah. Just, just oh, it's fun. A lot of them are really kids. Some of them are a little more serious, but yeah. they're not yeah, as right. heavy as like the the more adult. There, right, there's this one books, so. comic book uh, artist that I follow, Yale Stewart, who has a uh, his JL8, which is like Justice League at eight years old. Mm-hmm. Um, That's and cool. it's yeah. it's really adorable. Like I want to. I want to take Batman home with me because he's so adorable <laughs> as a child. It's what like, a great oh! thing for them to practice their reading. Yeah, yeah. and that was another yeah, reason that was I wanted that's to get him That's a great that. idea. Well, that was one of the things my dad used to do. Uh, we would go to the Air Force Base when I was a kid, and right next to the commissary was the bookstore. And we all I got to go once a week, and I got to go pick out a comic. Archie was my favorite at the time, mm-hmm. and uh, so I would always get a digest because it was a lot more than just a comic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, and then I graduated into. Superheroes. So. Yeah, I, yeah. I, what a great idea! I'm sure as soon as Ryland starts reading, I'm going down there to get six-year-old superhero comic books. Well, I have yeah. a great comic book store right by my house, but okay, they don't cool. have a they don't have a huge kids Kid selection. No, because they they really are trying to and cater what, see, more see, to I'm, my I'm people. I'm such the grandma right. and such the cosmic nanny that comics. I'm thinking like, okay, they get your oh yeah, yeah, cosmic. We they, we love going to cosmic yeah. comics. Yeah, it's, I wish that place was closer to our house. Yeah, that place <laughs> it's is great. Yeah, I literally live in that gated community next door to it. Really, oh, really, yeah. Love, right, right there. Yeah, like oh. right behind Smith's. I'm right there. Wendy of Neverland is also a JL8 fan. 
I found JL8 through Wendy. Oh, oh very cool. what? What a great incentive. <laughs> Not only can he read something he wants to read, but then you can, you know, stay on task or whatever, and you get to go to the comic book store. Yeah. That would be a great. Honestly. No, okay, so the, one of the questions that I have is we we go, we do field trips, we go do things uh, in our community so we can report on it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have sex, so we have stories about <laughs> it. We make sure to record our antics in the bedroom and relationship wise so we can talk about Do you guys. Uh, uh, nerd out on purpose just so you have stuff to talk about because you guys do catch ups like we do. Yes. yes. So you catch up on your nerd week and what you did that week, whether it was gaming or it, uh, movies or whatever. You know, I think it's. Uh, well, I'm assuming it's it's kind of like for you guys. It just kind of happens naturally. Yeah. And no, then if I don't have story... something, I'm like, mm, I haven't had sex, talked about sex in three weeks. I better go look through my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Brings out her little. Well, I think a little Louise, black book of sweat. I, I think I think Luis actually does that with his comic book buying because usually <laughs> when he does a report, it's after about two or three weeks and he hasn't bought anything, so he went and spent his entire check. At the oh yeah, then I'll, then I'll I'll go yeah, yeah. Just all in one shot. I'll just grab a whole bunch <laughs> and of then stuff. You have yeah. something to talk about on the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we basically just you know through playing games and reading comics, watching movies, and especially Netflix is a great help because yeah. we can watch. You know, we were talking today about uh, uh, bad B movies from the eighties. We we saw what was it? Uh, Barbarian Queen. We saw Barbarian <laughs> Queen. Yeah, oh and so gosh. that gave us a little something. Like it just happened naturally. We just you know kind of hang out and it and it happens. And when we come to the radio show, uh, you know, a couple hours before our show starts, we sit down and we go, "What do you want to talk about?" <laughs> <laughs> and then our catch up really is just we it, try just to like get into guys. work mode, but then it just turns into a conversation. I think it just kind of happens naturally. We know right. about yeah, that. We, we know just, about yeah. that. We, yeah. we have to stop ourselves. I bet it probably happens for you guys. Yeah, too, where you we, get you we start always do production meetings. All right, what are we gonna do this week? Well, you know. You will not believe what this motherfucker did to me. What's that one here? Save it later. Later. <laughs> <laughs> now, where do geeks find dates? <gasps> yeah, let's talk about your that love is, life. That, you is, all, that is a good question. All of you, I, 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 I wish I knew. Now I think. Are all of you single right now? Yes. yes. And what you, a sad state of affairs. Women, there, there's I'm three really nice looking men. I'm here. disappointed in every woman in the world who's running around going, I just want to find a nice guy. Bitch, I know three. <laughs> right. I'm telling you. And they're you. good looking and they have jobs and oh, they have man, a radio show. I wish I'd comb my hair before you said that. <laughs> right. Oh. And you know what? It's it's the variety of the rainbow. What do right. you pick? White, whiter, and definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, black lighter and lightest <laughs> now, no. now you guys do a lot of stuff at home Netflix you mentioned so that's <laughs> yeah. not really where you're going out Ooh. to like the sci-fi center or going to the comic they're not going to find a girl at the sci-fi center either well I'll come <laughs> watch Netflix the with center. them <laughs> I'll watch Netflix with them yeah, if you want a Netflix like hey, wait, wait. Uh, I've seen pictures, pictures. I've seen dude. pictures posted by the sci-fi center there's some hot chicks hanging out at the sci-fi center no 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 it's the Asians from the massage place walking by <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, you know, we we uh, it's it's a it's a bigger networking type of thing. You know, you, you meet friends who have the same interests and things, and then they have friends, and it just kind of goes around yeah. the circle. And you just kind of have to bide your time in the circle before something comes out. You go to the you go to the comic stores, you know, Comic Oasis, and you just got to keep going. You got to go where your interests are. Yeah, you go where your interests are, and that way you and find somebody happens. that's compatible with yeah, you. It also true. helps that when you don't look is when you find them. Good. A problem with geeks is that we're always looking, though. So, are yeah, I, that was, that was, see, no, I that was my next question. Yeah. That was my next question. Are you actively looking for girlfriends? Yes, and I have found out that the comic book place is the worst place to meet a girl. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. <laughs> because any girl who walks in there... Uh, who is into comic books already has a boyfriend. Because it's a Usually, boyfriend yeah. that got her into the comic no. books, is what you're saying? Sometimes, no. yeah. Other times, Sometimes it's just that I found that yeah. she's mine. It's exactly. my precious. It's exactly. my precious. It was someone <laughs> else's lucky day, not mine. And you know, A few weeks ago, we did, we did a segment. Uh, Lexi had found all of these dating sites that mm. were very strange. There's got to be a geek to geek There is. There is. It's called geek to geek com. And, have, and that, that was my next question. Have you guys ever thought about joining a site like that? Y yes. You're being I, I, elbowed I over there, Louise. You have joined or you've no, thought no, I, about I, it? I've, I've thought about joining. Because I had been on, like, you know, eHarmony, which I got rejected from. <laughs> no, yeah, you know what? You know what? That, felt, that did happen. I was I, there for that. We were there. like, dude, we should my try cousin, that. My niece got rejected from yeah, eHarmony, like, too. You fall in that 10% that we can't quite match. And I was like, oh, great. I'm getting well, to find out. Well, that's three in Vegas that, that I know that, of. That, that, that doesn't bode well for Vegas. I was there, and that discouraged me. I was like, yeah, I'm not even going to try it. Have you been on Plenty of Fish? No. Uh, the, if you don't look in the, it's yeah. free. 
Well, it completely and, well, yeah, and mo- yeah, it's yeah. free. And if you're looking for a great disappointment in your life, it's the best place to no, go. No, if you're looking <laughs> to get laid, it's probably a good place. Craigslist is better. More oh. there's oh, Craigslist is better to get laid. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot more honesty <laughs> actually, on Craigslist. Actually, I've met some nice people. Actually, at the when I was single and I was looking, I went on Craigslist, and um, you don't find every girl if you put an ad on Craigslist for a lady, mm-hmm. um, and you talk about your interest and what you're into, you're going to get a lot of inquiries prostitutes mostly no not necessarily not necessarily you you get a lot of inquiries um but know that they come at you if if, if they're not prostitutes they're going to come at with come at you with untrust already so you'll have to you know what i mean because yeah you can every have to girl you have to show them that yeah every girl and... it's it's on craigslist so every yeah. girl will come at you with like yeah he was on craigslist but i'll give him a shot we'll see he yeah. could be a murderer yes yeah. <laughs> Yes. I went on one Craigslist date who turned out to be a really great guy. I just wasn't the one for him. Yeah, I've actually got a few friends now that um, I had met on Craigslist. I haven't been on Craigslist like looking for a date in a, since 287 calls, I don't think. But um, <laughs> but you can't. I mean, a hot tub will I, always get you I don't want to say. And usually on Craigslist, what I find is people are pretty honest. Yeah. If they're looking for just a, no strings attached, they're going to put that. They're looking for somebody that they can have fun with and maybe work into something. I mean, they're pretty honest. Yeah. Except know. that I find that if a girl puts on there, I don't want to have a fuck buddy. I'm looking for something that could eventually lead into a relationship. Inevitably, by the third email, the guy's asking, so do you want to be fuck buddies? And it's like, no, I told you that in my pro- <laughs> in my bed when you read. Did you read it? Oh, no, I didn't read it. Why did you not read it? And, that, and that's why when you go over to the rants section, it's filled with all those people who just put an ad on a Craigslist dating site. Right, <laughs> right, right. That's the big problem with internet dating is nobody reads. If you're gonna, yeah. If you're going to date internet, date internet do internet dating Mm -hmm. the best way to impress a girl is to mention something from the middle of her profile that nobody else would have noticed unless they'd actually read her fucking profile and i've said to guys before like so what did you like they'll say oh i liked your profile what did you like about my profile i fucking know it ain't nothing but the pictures because they haven't read nothing you know what did you like about it oh i just liked it would it be Uh, worse if i was up front and i said listen I want to talk to you, but I did not read your profile. I'm letting you know right now. Would that be worse? Why than... wouldn't you? You're a geek. Yeah, that would be read my question. Well, why not? Just hypothetically. Well, just hypothetically. You would can't it be ask worse? me. Oh, I'm I'm not, it would be worse because I would say, fuck this motherfucker. He don't want to read my profile. <laughs> well, I see, you can't ask me because I'd appreciate the honesty, but then I'd ask you, why don't you want to read my profile? Because uh, I've read yours and I see that we have uh, these. Because I don't movies. read. Is there a movie version of your profile? Wow. I watch it then. I, do you have a YouTube channel? You really, <laughs> you really aren't looking for a date very, very... He was, it was a hypothetical. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just no, I'm just saying. I've done that exact thing before. Like, I, I've been on a couple other sites. Like I said, obviously it was direct for me, Harmony, but I've been on other sites and I've done that. And I don't know if I'm coming off as creepy because I'm like, oh, I see that, you know, da 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 you grew up here or you like this, I also like this, you know, what are your favorite movies or something? And then I get nothing back. Or I have people who message me and then, of course, like uh, you said, uh, Sierra, I, I go and look at their profile before I even answer them. I go to their profile. Are I we even going to be stuff. compatible? Yeah. Me too. I and if I, if it's if it's just oh I'm looking for a fuck buddy, I'm like oh well hey look I see that you're into this. I am not into that. You know, but you know thanks, good luck to you, whatever. You know this or that, and I have not had any luck. But... I will I will tell you how my trials went with the internet dating. I paid for eHarmony, mm-hmm. and I met the monkey troll. Monkey on troll e- on eHarmony. Well, there's a video on our YouTube. No, no, no. Uh, uh, it was Match.com that I got the monkey troll from. Okay. I got the guy who stood me up on our fourth date from eHarmony. So mm-hmm. Monkey troll is the keyword on our YouTube channel. Yeah, monkey okay. troll. Mm-hmm. Um, also from eHarmony, I got the guy from Utah that I've never even met. Right. Um, geek to geek, I got nothing. I paid for geek to geek, and every guy I messaged did not message me back. And if a guy did message me, it ended up being a troll who was looking to, you know, maybe sell his penis to me or something. I don't know. Wow. Um, and then uh, or Craigslist. Was from Dubai. Or it was from Dubai. <laughs> yeah, Craigslist. I would love to have you at my casino. Yeah. No, it's more like I love you. I need fat white American wife. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. Um, I will shroud you in the finest silks. Craigslist got me the uh, the Viking. I got the Viking from Craigslist. I also got laid quite a bit on Craigslist. <laughs> wow. Great place to get laid. Go into <laughs> Craigslist, okay? Craigslist, you got it. Craigslist casual encounters. We'll see. Yeah. Corny nerd looking for blowjob. You will get 287. <laughs> I promise. I did not. Oh, no, 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 no. Only if you throw a hot tub in there. Yeah. If you say you have access to a hot tub, 
287 hits you'll get. I put, yeah, I put, I put, I, no, no, here's what I did. Looking for a mouth chipper, I have hot tub. I was, (laughs) I was uh, house sitting for a friend and my date canceled. So I got on Craigslist and I um, put um, uh, cute BBW looking for hot tub date tonight. I went away to the computer. I don't know. Went and got dinner. About 45 minutes later, I come back, and there were 287 <laughs> responses. Wow. <laughs> and wow. she she only she only booked dates with 240 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just Sorry, other 47. Three, three, three of them. Yeah. But two of them oh. were on the same night. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hot tubs are hot nice. for a reason. Hell yeah. And no, we're done. You need to be leaving four. now. Four. four. <laughs> it, was, it was now that I remember because four, because Pillow Man was amongst <laughs> that group. That's right. Oh, that's right. Pillow Man, Pillow was, Man was amongst that group. <laughs> so I paid for all of that internet dating. Mm-hmm. I paid for all of it. I even wrote Match.com a vividly terrible email about how I was going to get six months free because I didn't find anything in six months and I didn't want their free six fucking months. <laughs> they didn't care. And then I go on a one year hiatus. No sex. For one year. No, 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 that wasn't before you did the local dating people. Oh, that's with right, the, I did the personal date consultant. I did, I did <laughs> pay for a matchmaking service here oh, in town. Oh, you How did, did that work? Yeah. Do you still have those? They yeah, do. Really? Wow. I did, I paid for and a matchmaking service. Did you have to make a video One guy, no, no, one guy was a guy I went to church with. Another guy was, uh, he just was looking for a fuck buddy and he thought that's what I wanted to. Mm-hmm. And then the third guy left town two weeks later to, uh, film a movie and he's been gone for three years so <laughs> they hit it off great and he goes I did just let you know i'm going to be going down to uh, south america to go film a movie i don't know how long i'm going to be gone See, that, uh, that sounds like an excuse like hey no, you hang out again uh, no, i because, to, but i i no, gotta go make a movie no because he was in the credits oh, i went okay. to watch the movie and he just, was in the credits because, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah well see i'll tell you why craigslist is good for me because it's a lot of people coming in from out of town so i don't ever have to worry about them wanting more than that's what true I want. she does not want a relationship Nope, she's just now, sorry, buddy. So I she, no, 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 but with Munch, it would be a whole different story. Oh, okay. the, the, she doesn't want uh, a steady uh, well, I should say it getting a married relationship. Mm. Fuck buddy is a relationship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is a, it is a, it, it is works. A yeah. yeah. So you're not totally relationship. When uh, my house is empty, that might be a different step. So now you mentioned that you know that when you stop looking is when you find somebody. So mm-hmm. have have you stopped looking now? Because I know you said you're looking. Yep. But are you are you actively looking or are you just hoping it happens someday? Are you doing like the guy thing where you walk into the room and look around and go, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they all know what I'm talking about yeah, because they I, are all guilty of I it. I guess I no. I guess what I do is I'm always looking. So it doesn't matter where I go. Like if I go to a bank or something, I like try to flirt with the teller or something like that. If she's cute or something like that. So, but it's never really worked out. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Would you like me to give you flirt lessons? Um. Yes. I'm sure. Really good at it. <laughs> yeah, D- sure. D box over here says yes. Well, where are you? What we need? What we D-box? need is all of these boys on a Saturday night at the D box. Strikes me as a player. Are you a player? You know what? He's unbelievably smooth. It is. It's. <laughs> it's so weird. We were. I'm. S- <laughs> I had never. I had never seen him in action. See, we were one time. We were hanging out. We were walking down Fremont Street. We had nothing to do, and there was like these cute English girls that were walking by, and I was like, we should go talk to those girls. And I'm sitting here. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. I'm trying to figure it out. And I turn around, I go, here's what's going to happen. Turn around, he's gone. He's already talking to them. I'm like, oh my God, he's like starting without me. So I run over there and he's this talking to them. such a movie. We're yeah, going to have to plan what they're going to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, what are we going to say? And I'm thinking like, all right, here's what's going to happen. Turn around, he's already walking over. I was like, oh shit, I should probably be right behind him. And yeah, he starts talking to him and he's just, I, I forgot what he said, but I was, I was just dumbfounded. I was like, oh my gosh, you... You're the best wingman ever. <laughs> we could have potentially picked them. It didn't work out, but we could have potentially picked them up. Thanks to Diva. Potentially picked him up. That's like saying I'm almost. We had it. We had a good. (laughs) We had a good. With what he was saying, I almost got laid. I could smell the pussy from five feet away. (laughs) We had a good shot. Looking for directions. We started talking, and just spent like thirty minutes walking and talking. So, are you looking for um, a woman? Right now, not not really. I'm still busy. When was the last time any of you were in a relationship? Too sad. Next topic. A year. Two. Did you say two sad next topic? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bud. Uh, actual relationship probably like a year ago. Okay, so he- here's the question I have for, and we don't have a lot of time left, but 
if you do get into a relationship, yeah. do you, th- do you, how much do you think you're going to have to change about your life? Like the gaming and the, you know, staying up late on the video games or going over and playing paper dice or uh, what? Quite a bit. The, the dice are made of paper. <laughs> uh, the money that you they spend. Mm. The money that you spend at the comic book store every oh, three or four weeks. How, you'll have to be taking people to dinner and buying flowers. So I mean, how much will your life have to? Ch- that's and the, are you the, willing? It's the monetary, uh, the the economics of it that change. The yeah. time wise, or at least for me, it's it's easy for me to basically because, like I said, I want to be in a relationship. That's where I'm happy. I don't want just a casual thing. Uh, so anytime I have been re- in a relationship in the past, my attention is on making that person happy because what I know if I, show, man. if I show them attention and affection, that's what I'm going to get in return. And I'm honest and I'm sincere and I expect that back. You so because thing. of that, I know that, you know, I'll spend some time doing things she likes and I can't stand. She'll let me do things I like, even though she can't stand. And but how often does apart. that actually happen for you? Uh, it, it, it works. God, wait a minute. Oh, work. don't we know somebody a... for him? Because he's just too good. We got to know somebody. I, had... I don't know if I would inflict anybody I know on him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking that. that same thing. I know somebody I would like to have someone like you, but she would drive you fucking batshit crazy. <laughs> I, that, and she's already told me that d and is too much for her. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's completely yeah. out. See, and one, one of the things, I had a girlfriend who really liked football. I like football. You know, I know the basic rules. I watch once in a while when my team plays or something like that. She really, I mean, she never missed a game of, like, the entire season. So she would make me sit down and watch it with her. And it took a long time for us to find, like, a balance in order to, you know sit there and watch i'm like i can't sit here and watch because i can't stand these announcers when they're actually playing the game i'm having fun the second the announcers start talking i'm like shut up shut up shut up shut up (laughs) so i'd have my game boy and i'd play like when i got bored i'd start playing my game boy and then when it got interesting or she's like hey look and i okay and like so we we kind of found a balance but uh you know that's that's what a relationship is though it's it's balance so what about you what are you afraid that's going to change you know he said his his monetary oh my comic book money (laughs) (laughs) um no, you know what? I don't have a problem. I you have to always, shower uh, more yeah. often. You have to go buy Axe deodorant. Please oh, don't no, buy Axe no, deodorant. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Not, cool. not the, not the Axe stuff. I, I. Cool old water. Spice, I, old Spice. Thank you. Cool water. I love Old Spice. <laughs> I'm a cool water girl. Have you I ever cool asked water. them if, it, if your theory about nerds in high school? I happen to know. Them? Remember how they they would read about? Oh it no, I I I don't. It's not a theory. I have proven the fact that <laughs> nerds make better lovers. Because they spent all of their time prepping and reading and researching. I know they are better lovers. Why do you think I've been in a relationship with my giant nerd? I'd like to think that's true. It is true. I, it's a fact. <laughs> you, 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 ha- you, you will find a nerd girl. You will. Yep. I promise you. Thank because you. Um, so after the hours of cause Netflix, you know, it tells you you've been watching too long. Do you want to continue? Or do you, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So after, after <laughs> it, it, it doesn't th- ask you the question anymore. You've been watching TV for it like four that, hours. Do you want to take a break? It no. did that to me while I was doing a Full Metal Alchemist like, right, right. marathon. So it doesn't say <laughs> that anymore. It just says, do you want it to continue? So, uh, I, so we did it like twice. After a marathon of Doctor Who, because um, there are seven seasons on Netflix, yes. right? Six, yeah. six seasons. Yeah. Um, I looked at Mike and we joked about something and I said, nerd. He goes, I'm so glad. So you <laughs> will find your nerd. I can promise you. I that. hope so. Yeah. You will. I think It'll so. Happen. I, I, don't I, feel you're, so. All, you're all under 30, I, right? I, I barely. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've still got time. Not barely. barely. Well, the side that Mike and I didn't hook up until we're in our 40s. So right. there you go. You know, my, you know? my next door neighbor, uh, we went to go see a movie and he was telling me the same thing. He's like, hey, man, you know, because he was asking me if I'd, you know, been seeing anybody or this or that. He's like, hey, I didn't find my wife till, you know, like the almost the end of college. And he had been in the military and this and that. He's like, you know, we've only been together like 10 years or something like that. He was telling me he's he's a younger guy in mm-hmm. like his mid 30s or late 30s around there. And don't he's like, him. he's like, yeah, he's like, don't worry about it, dude. He's like, you'll find somebody. It takes yeah. a little longer sometimes, but you'll find somebody. It'll be worth it. And like I tell Luis, I was like. The girl I find doesn't have to be on my caliber. Like I said, my last girlfriend liked football. I like really liked football. I did not, but I could work with it. Like, but she liked to play games, video games. Mm-hmm. Like we had something. You got to have something in common. Right. It can't be, you know, Prada. <laughs> Prada. <laughs> yeah. Except you guys have Doctor Who in common. Now we have Doctor Who in common, but we have a friend in the way. So besides all the great, <laughs> besides all the great nerd topics that you guys talk about and the great guests that you have, you guys have your catch-ups every week, which is usually a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. You guys oh, usually you. have a lot of fun, which is great. We try. That's yeah. every Sunday at four o'clock. 
Yep. The Geek Lounge, you guys are on Facebook and Twitter? Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, we're on uh, the Facebook at Geek Lounge and, and the Twitter at Geek, Geek underscore Lounge. Lounge. I blanked for a bit. I'm sorry. And don't forget to check out our archive here at VegasAllNightRadio.com. That's right. And, and the yeah. other great shows. That's right. I'm like this show. Woo! Woo! <laughs> and Which we don't have to tell you about because you're probably already listening <laughs> and watching. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a couple of questions in chat first. Uh, number one okay. is um, to the Geek Lounge, are y'all fans of the Big Bang Theory? Yes. Yes. I find it funny. Uh, yeah, agreed. I, I, I really like it. That's I want pretty to robotic. When I can. I'm sorry. <laughs> do the do Big Bang Theory is funny. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> and then, uh, what do you, ha- what do y'all, what are y'all favorite football teams? What's y'all favorite football teams? Football. If you have any. My, 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 own. my, my favorite football team is the Miami Dolphins. Did <laughs> they win today? <laughs> Probably not. Oh. They're losers. <laughs> my team did not win today uh, either. Okay. The San Diego Chargers. Chargers are my second because they're close. Hmm. Them and the Cardinals. Raiders, no matter oh, what. Raider, Raider Nation. Raider Nation. Raider when Nation. you live in Las Vegas, your favorite football team is whoever you got to bet on. Okay? Yeah, right. yeah. That's your favorite That's team. That's true. Yeah. If, if you do that. I, I was raised in Texas. I'm a Cowboys girl through and through. Oh, there God. You go. oh. Once you find your team, it's all about finding your team. I would proudly admit it, too. They're a great I'm team when they're not in jail. I'm from Michigan, <laughs> and there is no I like way you, I'm Sue, or else I don't know how lion. this would go. I ain't so, blaming the Lions. So I, I found uh, Steelers, the Steelers website, uh, Steelers.com, has uh, Steelers radio, so I could listen online, because I don't have TV, right? Yeah. So I could listen online to the radio show, and I, can, I CBS Sports, I love CBSSports.com, because they have that live ticker thing with the fake football field and the little ball moving down the yeah, field. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> and uh, so I got to listen to my game today, and freaking lost. Um... But then I was catching the scores when we went to go eat, and the Browns got, like, trounced, right? And that's the biggest rivalry for the Steelers. So I was like, you know, my Steelers lost today, but I feel okay because I thought the, Browns. the Browns got trounced. So. I thought the Ravens were their, were their rival. Um, they the may Steelers? be the new one, okay. but the old world rivalry. From, from way, way back? Yeah. Before back the there day. was hive off teams. Back in the bootlegging yeah. days? Yeah. yeah. So Back that's the Geek Lounge. We love these guys. The archives are here. I'm going to get together with them um, because you guys really need to get your podcast up on iTunes and stuff like that. So we're right. going to talk about that. Okay. And I know that you guys have been talking about a website as well, and I've got some ideas for that. So you've, we love these guys. Uh, we're going to have them on as often as possible. Aww, we love you guys, you guys too. Yeah. So fun. Thank you so much for And uh, we here. love that you let go when you're here because yeah. you said shit a few times now, so that's pretty awesome. Have I? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> No fucking way. Oh, we wait, 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 I got a list. Oh, we Shit, them. fuck, motherfucker. Cocksucker. Shit sipping douche. Uh, Ooh, that's a good ooh, one. That is a good My one. favorite is uh, uh, slimy, drippy, oozy cum bubble. Whoa. 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 Wow. That's a lot of adjectives. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's quite a... F- one last question. Do you have a name for your private part? <laughs> Everybody name yeah. it. Oh, my part. God. Oh. This is Maston Avenue. Maston Avenue? Avenue? I have a few. That's why I've always changed it. I'm like, my penis is like Madonna. It's always changing. <laughs> so I gotta tweet that. <laughs> so I've always had like a. It, but as a joke, I don't like tell women like, "Hey, my my penis's name is Maston Avenue. Yeah. Want to so, go down on Maston yeah, Avenue?" <laughs> like, joke. Nothing like that. But you know, as a joke, I always make so up. So today, names the for... name of your penis is Maston Avenue. No, uh, today that's it's an older uh, one. yeah, that's an older one. Uh, Prince Mamut Shabazz. Is that, what you're is that what it's going by that's now? Like, that's, that's what it's like, going by right now. That's like squiggle, squiggle, dot, dot, vomit, vomit, vomit. That's <laughs> yeah. Okay, wow. what is your private call? Oh, I don't know. I don't have one. You don't have one? Does yours have a name? No. Oh, this Mine, is Mango. Uh, Mango? Mango. I'm, bis- I'm uh, Poke Chops. Poke Chops? Pad Thai. That's pad Thai. Pad Thai? Yeah. Uh, Lexi is making us get off the air here. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go to break, everybody. Be back in a minute. This is Sierra of the curvaceous bounty of Sin City on VegasAllNetRadio.com. And I would like to take a moment to talk about something serious. I'd like to talk about balls. Every Sunday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., you can listen to me and my co-hosts talk about balls. You can listen to us on VegasAllNetRadio.com or you can watch us at SinCityBounty.com. We'll talk about balls every Sunday from 7 to 10 p.m. And don't forget, balls. The honorific smash debut album, Yay, is gonna make you wanna say. Just gotta sing to make the whole world ring. Just gotta sing to take your mind off the hood. With hits like Just Gotta Say. Just gotta sing. Only 
in my dream. He was only in my dream. Suspicious.